All right, so for this one, we have to solve the system by elimination. So remember, we're not just finding the X and Y values, but I've actually taught you three different ways to solve systems. So if it says by elimination, then you eliminate. If it says by substitution, you substitute. If it says by graphing, then you graph. Now graphing will always show you the solution if there is a solution, okay? So I need to cancel out either an X or a Y and I need to multiply something by something. Well, I see that two and four could be canceled, but I need this, this, this term right here to be a positive four Y. Now the only way I can make that a positive 4y is to multiply everything by negative 2. So negative 2 times negative 3x is a positive 6x. Negative 2 times a negative 2y is a positive 4y. And then negative 2 times 7 is a negative 14. So believe it or not, this little equation in blue is the same as this original equation up here. I just multiplied everything by negative 2. Then I take my second equation, this one right here, and I just write it right underneath it. 5x minus 4y is equal to 15. Now, I add it vertically. 6x minus 5x just leaves me with x. 4y minus 4y just leaves me with 0. I don't need to write the 0 down. 15 minus 14 gives me 1. Look at that. Well, bam, with the bacon sizzle, x equals 1. Okay? Is that amusing when I said that? Uh, so this isn't it. This isn't it. I probably shouldn't scribble those out. I should probably wait until I do the whole problem. But So now it doesn't matter which equation I use. I'm going to plug in x <coughs> equals 1 and then solve for y. I don't know. I feel like this will be an easier one. So I'm gonna say three times x, but we're gonna think that x is one. If we did our math right, it should be. Minus two y equals uh, seven. Negative three times one is negative three. Minus two y equals seven. I'm gonna add three to both sides to solve. And I get negative two y is equal to seven plus three, which is 10. Divide both sides by negative 2, and I get y equals negative 5. Okay, so that means my solution should be x comma y or 1 comma negative 5. That's c. Now how do I double check that? Decimals. So in order to double check it in Desmos, remember for a system of equations, you type in the original equations as you see them. So I'm gonna type in negative three X minus two Y is equal to seven. That's my first equation. Then I type in my second equation, negative five X uh, minus four Y equals 15. And look where it crosses. Those two lines cross at one comma negative five. <coughs> oh shoot. Click on the wrong clickety thing. That's the technical term. Oh, I did it again. Problem was that problem 29. There we go. Somewhere in here I gotta fit that graph. We'll fit it over here. So that's where it crosses, so that's the answer. Okay. Now some of you might get nervous and go. Well, I know I can graph it and get the answer. That's great. Graph it, get the answer, put the answer down. But I am expecting to see the work. So you'll still get credit, you just won't get full credit. 
right? I always want you to be able to have a way to find the right answer, but I am teaching you the process of elimination, and that's what you're being tested on, okay?